Batman vs Superman's out today. Boy, I'm talking about Daredevil. With Daredevil Season 1 being crazy amazing and my personal favourite Marvel property so far, something that they have made, I was super excited to see what they could do with the character and to get more stuff and see just more Daredevil, man. And I have to say, I have an opinion on it, so welcome to my spoiler-free review of Daredevil Season 2. Let's get into this with some stuff that I like. So with the season, straight away, where they take the character and where they put the character of Daredevil is really interesting. Because in the first one, some the historic fight scenes, the things that people, of course, you've probably got to hear, hear, heard of, you've probably heard of how good the fight scenes in the character was in season one. Which was, he punches a guy, he punches a guy, and then they both fall over because they're punching each other so much. And then Daredevil gets up and fights, but it's so realistic in a gritty tone. And, but in this season, he's got a new suit, he punches a guy, punches a guy, he might fall over after like five guys instead of one. Though it's just the way that they've improved it, I thought was very smart and very interesting, and I really enjoyed it. And also, I'm going to take this little time here just to say how much I enjoyed the fight scenes. Like, they go, I don't get into movies, I don't laugh or cry in many movies, but this one had me like, squealing or whatever it was, like, yeah, freaking beat the, you know, kid him in the face, damn it. But man, it was crazy, I mate. Mean, there was some like incredible fight scenes that will blow your mind if you choose to watch this, bro. Also, the character of Punisher was the best. Like, is like one of my new favorite characters in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. He's crazy amazing. He's brutal. This is exactly what you want from the Punisher. There was they, they did it very smartly. Like everything they thought well. Why he acts this way, how he justifies it in his own head, the reasons and the conflicts and the mate, it's just crazy. And they didn't overdo the blood and they didn't overdo some silliness. It was the perfect and they found the right balance to make the Punisher sick. It was, man, he's the best. Like, every time he's on screen, I was super interested. I was super just focused onto him. Um, Daredevil as a character was mean as, like... Some stuff, I did lose interest, but I don't think it was the Daredevil character, the, um, reasons for it. But still, man, he's, but he's really good. The actor in this is really good. Um, Stick returned, which is pretty cool. Although some things that he did was a lot of vague, like, very vague. The structure they made this, the season, the first three episodes was the best, the fourth episode. But then it kind of dipped down, I felt. And got really boring, and then and then hype back up the end. Although I did find the end stuff to be very anticlimactic and not fitting, because they had a villain there, which wasn't really the villain of the season. It was almost Punisher as the villain of the season, but he he didn't. He just yeah, and everything he did in the last episode was whew, it was very very anticlimactic, and I don't think everything fit fit together very well. So, um, this is where I'm coming into some gripes I've got for this, which is stuff like Electra and the hand. So they introduced the hand and some mysticism, and I absolutely despise it. It, I didn't enjoy any of it, I didn't find any of it new, I didn't think it fit in very well. Maybe it was because I was super interested in the Punisher, and then he just went away real suddenly, and then he pretty much ended, and then they went straight into this other thing, which was completely different tonally, and I didn't enjoy it. And it made some, some very awkward scenes with some poor acting and some really weird and stuff. Like, Daredevil goes from hating a person to loving them over somebody he loves more. And personally, I think there's a way better person. It's just, it was very poor. It was, it was bloody, it was bloody painful for my mind to keep up. But other than that, Daredevil Season 2 was amazing. Like... I'm, I might even go back and watch it. Like, I don't have time to watch the stuff, but I'm watching the stuff again. I really, really enjoyed it, and I super recommend doing it. And on my scale of things that are in, like, the Marvel Universe, you can see the bloody photo right there. Just look at it. There it is. That's what I'm saying. Thanks for watching this. I'm going to kick off. People say you don't say this, but I'm saying this. Subscribe to the channel. You know, it'd be, be pretty cool. Um, I'll be back with Batman vs. Superman in not too long. But latest, bruh.